I believe the greatest danger that we face today is the degradation of the ecosystem upon which our life depends. The life systems that sustain all of us are unraveling. Species are dying at an unimaginable pace. And it is not an accident. It is the consequence of our way of life. I believe firmly in the ancient tradition that the world is a living being and the world is a spiritual being of which we are a part. But something very sad, very tragic has been happening to it. And in a way it is our responsibility. It is a responsibility of each of us. We have to accept that uh, this civilization can be destroyed. Not by something outside, but by ourselves. In fact, many civilizations have been destroyed in the past. I believe in redemption. The process of apology and redemption, or forgiveness, yeah, is a mutual healing process. It is not just physical, it is spiritual. We have to take responsibility spiritually. And to me, that is growing up. To me, that is also an opportunity we, as part of the divine, as an expression of the divine, have been given. You're either going to change your values or you're not going to survive. I tell you, the earth has no mercy. We think that uh, people know what is going on, that uh, their planet is being destroyed. A lot of people in the world, really, more than you know, just waiting. Then there's only one way to move forward, and that is shift from that masculine commodification, desacralization path of abuse of natural resources and abuse of rivers, ending in their death, but you don't see the deathbed because you declared them dead in any way. You declared a living earth as dead matter. So if we have to protect the life of this earth and her rivers and her waters, then we have to recognize their life and we have to create the cultural mechanisms to protect that life. And that cultural mechanism is the category of the sacred. The sacred that shows us the links, that shows us the primacy, that shows us the basis of sustenance. In the Hindu tradition, we have a mantra. Isha vashya midam sarvam yatkincha jagatyam jagat. Which means that everything upon this earth a blade of grass, a leaf on the tree, a worm under the soil, a butterfly, a bee, a flower, a thorn, everything upon this earth are home of divine. If we have a reverence and respect for moving it forward with deep spiritual grounding, I think we can do it. So people, we have to really not be afraid of feeling pain for our world. And where it comes from is love, our love for this world. I firmly believe that only if we make life sacred again can the outer situation be healed 